I had to do this over again because I didn't do it right, y'all. So, um, all right. Um, I got a prophetic word from the Lord. It's um, Exodus 20, chapter 4. It says, You shall not make yours for yourself any image of in a form of anything in heaven above or on earth beneath or in the water below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them for the Lord your God I am your let me start that over again the Lord your God I am a jealous God I can't the Lord is saying my people need to put down your idol. The idol, what, whatever idol you have in your life that you're putting before God, but you're not giving God all the worship, that idol right there, um, He's wanting you to put it down. Put your idol down. Um, I am a jealous God. I want all your worship. When God wants all your worship, that means that don't hold back of your worship. The one true God, Jesus, who is still God, He wants your worship. I have commanded you, you shall not have any idols. You have worshipped idols like they are a real God. And there's only one true God. Um, so, but I am true God. I want all of your worship. I, you say you love me. Where is your worship? I'm going to say that again. You say that you love me. You say that you you love me with all your heart. Where is your worship that shows that you love me? Where is your worship when... You say you wor love me, but your worship is not there. Your worship of me, you're not worshiping me fully. You're not worship. You're not giving all the worship to God. You're giving all the worship to this idol. You got this idol, and you got God. You're giving. 24 hours a day with this idol, but you're giving God worship on Sunday. And He expects worship to be 24 hours a day, but you have this idol in the way, and it's right in front of Him. I am looking for true worshipers who are who worship me in spirit and truth. When you worship God in spirit and truth, it's a different kind of worship. You know who God is when you are a true worshiper. When you worship God in spirit and truth, you know who He is. So you worship Him because what he's done for you and 
I want all of, I want worship from your heart. It comes from a pure heart. He don't want worship that doesn't come from a pure heart. Because if your, if your worship does not come from a heart, in a heart to be pure, then you are worshiping from not your heart, your mind. You are worshiping God from definitely not from your heart. Because if it was from your heart, it wouldn't matter if you good or bad you you know it don't matter it wouldn't matter to you if you've gone through good and bad situations it would be nobody wouldn't have to beg you to praise God you would automatically praise God from the heart and nobody wouldn't have to beg you to praise God it's a problem when People have to beg you to praise, praise God when you're not thankful enough to praise God because you don't see that he's good. You don't see that he's a great God. You don't see that he's able. You don't see that he's a big God. And God's not playing. This is no joke. When God says, do not put any God before him there's no joke and that is a prophetic word from the Lord y'all have a good night